All right, what's going on guys? It's Vlad here. Welcome to part two of this little mini series that I'm doing now, apparently. Uh, if you don't know what's going on or what happened, or if you haven't seen the last video, here's like, I guess, quick five seconds, five to 10 seconds of what happened. So I was at the gym earlier, so why now do I have a double? There's some golf stuff. There's my man, Steve Harvey. To mention you probably, I forgot I had college class today. Peace out. So yeah, as you could clearly tell, uh, I forgot about college homework, so instead of going to the next location that I wanted to go to, I just decided to make this a two or three part series. So this is either going to be the last video that I'm going to make for this mini series, or we're gonna have one more episode. So strap in ladies and gentlemen, get some popcorn, cause this is going to be a fun episode. <laughs> So in today's video, I'm gonna drive over to Marshalls. It's literally down the road, so it's not too far. But before I do go to Marshalls, I do wanna stop by Goodwill, which is also down the road. Goodwill closes at nine and Marshalls closes at 9.30. So I wanna at least stop into Goodwill and see if I can find any good stuff. So without further ado, we're gonna make a quick stop at Goodwill. All right, here we are walking around through Goodwill. And honestly, since it was late, there really wasn't much. And as I'm looking around, uh, I did find this, this called Game. Not cool. The game called Backgammon. And it looked pretty interesting. I searched it up, but there were no results. I mean, there were, but this specific model wasn't available. And I left it behind. And from here, I was just looking through clothes. And there was nothing there. So I decided to leave from that point. And here I am in my car. All right, so I just got back from Goodwill. I'm in my car right now, about to head over to Marshall's. But honestly, there wasn't that many items. What I was really looking for were sealed items that were brand new. So I could just scan them and see if they're worth anything or not. And there wasn't much. So now we're going to head over to Marshall's and see if there's actually anything good. And hopefully we can find some good stuff. So this way, maybe we'll go home with a little bit of profit, okay? All right, so here we are at Marshall's and we're about to enter. And where I went, I went into the clearance section. There's a Llama Rama. I searched it up, it really wasn't worth much, but I did find this solitaire game, as you can see on the left side. It was worth a little bit of money, and it did look interesting, so what I decided to do was grab it. Oh, I mean, look, four bucks, okay? It's a pretty good deal, even though I'm not gonna be making a lot. It is kind of a quick sale, so I decided to grab it, and from here on, you can see I'm putting on this Pac-Man light. I thought it was interesting, there was two of them, but oh, there's a Walking Dead puzzle. Uh, I'm gonna get back to the thing in a second, I put that down, but, Hurry, I'm looking at the Walking Dead puzzle. Oh, there's Encore, Star Trek, and I, I, I would put up what they were worth, but they really weren't worth much, but I did see the sequence dogs. I did search it up, and as you can see, it is worth some good money, so I decided to grab it. But I mean, it looks like I put it back, but in reality, I actually saw two or three more. So I was actually thinking about grabbing more than one because I could probably make more money, but since they weren't selling that often, I decided not to, and I am yeah, looking, I mean, 10 bucks, I mean, even though there was one or two comps, it wasn't really worth much, so I just left it there. And then here is the Encore, the singing game. I don't know what the point of the game is, but I think it was also eight or 10 bucks. So I just decided to leave it behind because it wasn't really worth much. So here I am trying to balance everything while I'm recording, trying to put the solitaire. I'm trying to grab the solitaire with my phone while I'm recording it. So this way nothing falls and nothing cracks, which you will see foreshadowing at the end, something does. But here I'm looking at some men's items and typically there really isn't much there, but I was also looking to see if there was maybe something for me, maybe some hair gel, maybe some hairspray that was cheap, but there really wasn't nothing there. And here I am at the shoes. Now, usually at Marshalls, at the specific Marshalls, there aren't many shoes that are profitable and there's also not that many shoes in clearance so i mean there's an adidas shoe but it really wasn't worth anything and i forgot to screenshot the comps on that but i decided to leave that area and i went to the toys section and i see these i forgot what they were called it was it was a collectible item you can see they're five bucks but if you sell one then it would actually sell for five bucks but if you have a set of 12 then they sell for a hundred dollars which is very crazy and then here's some play-doh play-doh really wasn't worth much maybe if you're doing amazon fbi it's worth it but here i am looking through oh i just dropped my solitaire game gotta pick that up because i was putting stuff on the shelf so i can look at something else i'm pretty sure that that was the case yeah that's that was the case because i'm looking at these frozen balls <laughs> frozen balls but no, again, $4.99. So in that case, I just decided to leave them behind because they really weren't worth my time. And I'm looking over here, I see some puzzles. I'm like, okay, these puzzles might be worth it. You can see $7.99, but this puzzle wasn't really worth much. And I also couldn't find the same puzzle. I, I mean, I searched up the makers of the puzzle, but I didn't find the specific one, so I couldn't find it. So I just left it behind. There was another puzzle that I found, as you can see, this Tyrannosaurus Rex puzzle. Now, as you can see on the left screen, 
the comps there's only two comps that or the two that sold and as you can see that the puzzle is eight dollars i was struggling to turn around over there but it was eight bucks and i was looking at it and i was like okay maybe i could get it but again comps are not that great but i could hold on to it for a little bit so i decided to grab it at the end but anyway that's it for marshall's let's go back to the car all right so we made it safely out of marshall's and let me tell you something for the amount of time that i spent in there i got a lot of good stuff well by a lot i mean four items but still with the amount of items that i gotten and the amount of time that i spent there i think it was actually time well spent there's no other way to say it but that's what i mean it was it, i definitely spent a good amount of time i didn't feel like i wasted it like i did in burlington coat factory even though i did have a lot of fun looking for it but it's just that right after you leave you're just like damn i just wasted 40 minutes and i couldn't find anything i'd rather be looking somewhere else where i could actually find stuff that's usually what goes through my head but anyway enough talking for me let me get inside my house and let me just show you guys what i got all right so i just got home I set up all the four items that I bought right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. All right, so the first thing that I got is this solitaire game. Now, I just noticed this, which is kind of upsetting that it's actually kind of chipped over here, but it's basically still in brand new condition and it works fine. So I think I'm still gonna charge the same amount uh, how much they're going for. So I spent about four bucks and I'm probably gonna sell it for around $15, making a sweet little six to eight bucks profit. All right, so next up we got this Pac-Man light now. it's I think it's kind of cool. I mean, I'm not like a big Pac-Man fan. It's a collectible, so you can get Blimpy and you can get Turn to Blue Ghost. It is a pretty neat item. The reason why I got it is because it was three bucks, first of all. Uh, there was two of these, but one of the boxes was damaged, so I decided to grab this one. I'm gonna probably put this up between 10 to $12, so I'm probably looking at somewhere around four to six bucks profit around there. All right, so this next item is very unique. The reason why I picked this up was because when I scanned the barcode over here, where was it? So yeah, the reason why I got it is because one, it is sealed, so it's brand new. And when I scanned the barcode, even though there's only two confirmed sales, for eight bucks, I think I can hold on to this for a couple of months, hopefully at most, and we'll see how far it goes. And finally, the last item in the clearance section that I I got clearance it was eight dollars so i think it was like 15 or 20 bucks originally so yeah anyway looking at this i'm probably going to sell this for 30 35 dollars that's what i'm gonna probably list it for 35 dollars and i'm probably looking to get between i'm gonna say best case 25 dollars and worst case 15 so anyway the amount of money that i spent at marshall's was 24 dollars and 51 cents and i am looking to make between i want to say 60 to 80 dollars maybe maybe a little bit over to 100 dollars side and i'm probably looking to net between 40 to 60 dollars at most but at least 35 to 40 dollars so for half hours of work that's not bad and the thing is i don't know how quickly these items are going to sell they might sit there for a while some of these are probably going to sell quicker than i thought and that's why i decided to grab that that ty tyrannosaurus rex puzzles because it's one of those weird odd items that could probably sell for good money and it's definitely designated to that one unique buyer so first of all if you see any of these items and you're interested in buying them hit me up and, or leave a comment down below or do whatever go DM me on my Instagram and we can work out a deal. But anyway, guys, it is 10.30, I believe, or 9.30. I, I'm, so, I'm so tired that I have no idea what time it is. So I still want to go and put those items up on eBay. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button to show me that you genuinely like these videos and you want me to keep on making them. And if you did enjoy this video, share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel for new videos coming very soon. Anyway, guys, I hope everybody has a great night or day and I will see you next time for a brand new video. Peace out. Alright, so we made it safely out of Walgreens, not Walgreens.